Bionics was a late-night anime program block that was broadcast on Friday nights on the Canadian television channel YTV. It was launched in September 2004 and was removed from the channel in February 2010. History Bionics broke away from YTV's Keep It Weird Style and had a more technological feel to it in an effort to appeal to a teenage audience. While visually similar to Toonami, the action-oriented program block of the United States-based Cartoon Network, the lineup itself bears more similarity to that of Adult Swim, Cartoon Network's late-night branding, which airs programs aimed at adults. While YTV had seen years of success with audiences under 12, they had done very little to appeal to the older teen audience which, as a youth broadcaster, they were also obliged to cater to. In 2003, YTV had become Canada's number one station for teens, thanks mainly to the debut of Inuyasha. As a result, Bionics was launched on Friday, September 10, 2004 specifically targeting this older youth audience along with special disclaimers that aired after commercial breaks. Generally most of the programming was animated, with a fair portion being anime. However, other programs were often included in order to ensure the Canadian content regulations were met. These programs include reruns of older mainframe entertainment series, such as Beasties, Reboot, and Shadow Raiders, as well as live-action YTV productions. On Saturday, July 19, 2008, Bionics has been moved from Fridays to its new time slot on Saturdays, from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Starting March 7, 2009, Bionics became a one hour block, airing from 10 p.m. to 11 p.m. on Saturdays. On May 16, 2009, the block was pushed further back to midnight, and the viewer advisory bumps were switched from the Bionics themed bumps to YTV's version. When Naruto began airing Tuesdays to Fridays at 4 a.m., however, Bionics's viewer advisory bumps were used, despite the show airing outside of the block's runtime. In September 2009, Bionics once again became a two-hour block, now airing at midnight and featuring two episodes each of Naruto and Bleach. The block's promos and bumps were removed for what would be its final few months of broadcast. In February 2010, YTV's website removed both the Bionics page and the Bionics On Demand page, leading to speculation that the block would soon be cancelled. YTV would indeed pull the Bionics block that same month without public notice, with the final episodes being the back-to-back -back reruns of Bleach at 1am on February 7, 2010. Bleach had been airing reruns since December 2009, after the finale of Naruto that month. The Bionics forums remained as part of YTV's website, until the boards were completely dismantled and removed in March 2014. In 2015, the Bionics brand was brought back for use as a playlist on the YTV Direct YouTube channel. However, outside of Invader Zim, the playlist only features action oriented shows from the Nelvana library, which are aimed at a younger audience than the block. Topic. Anime history on YTV YTV hosted the North American broadcast premiere of Sailor Moon in August 1995. The final 17 episodes of Sailor Moon R were dubbed specifically for the Canadian market. Series such as Dragon Ball and Pokemon were broadcast on the channel in following years. In 2000, YTV broadcast Mobile Suit Gundam Wing, airing an edited version of the series at 11.30 p.m. Eastern Time on weeknights. In late 2003, Inuyasha premiered on the network. Its popularity with teen viewers brought about the creation in 2004 of the Bionics block, which aired on Friday nights and included Mobile Suit Gundam Seed. YTV aired Ghost in the Shell, standalone complex at midnight because of its adult content, it did not air the Jungle Cruise episode. On September 29, 2006, YTV Canada Inc. announced it had applied to the CRTC for permission to launch a Category 2 English language specialty channel called the Anime Channel. The proposal included minimum 85% animated and related programming and maximum 15% information based programming, targeted at adults over the age of 18. A meeting with the CRTC was held on November 14, 2006. On January 30, 2007, CRTC approved the application for the license to run until August 31, 2013. 
The license allowed the channel to allocate not less than 65% of the broadcast year to anime programs, not more than 35% of the broadcast year to anime-related programs, not less than 85% of the broadcast year to programming from categories 7 D, theatrical feature films aired on TV, 7 E, animated television programs and films, and 7 G, other drama, with no more than 15% of the broadcast year dedicated to information-based programs. Chorus Entertainment failed to launch this channel within the required 36-month period and did not apply for an extension. Between the end of Limbo and the beginning of Bionics, YTV launched the Anime Master Forum. The Anime Master character is portrayed as a red-suited masked ninja, dubbed in the voice of YTV's robotic mascot, Snit, and has made a few guest appearances in The Zone and Vortex segments. Live-action show hosts have also done interviews at Anime North, most of the guests being voice actors for popular animated shows on the channel. The interviews were shown in the live-action segments between programs, called Animanutes, or as a separate block. In 2009, YTV moved the Bionics block from Friday to Saturday nights, cutting down the length and number of anime series on the block significantly. On February 7, 2010, the Bionics block ended. For more than four years after that, YTV's anime programming targeted only younger audiences. Then on September 2, 2014, following both Chorus Entertainment's full acquisition of TELETOON Canada Inc. and YTV's addition of select Teletoon programming, the channel's remaining anime programming along with both the Power Rangers franchise and Oh No! It's an Alien Invasion, moved to Teletoon. Topic. Bionic's previous series and movies This is a list of series and movies that have aired on Bionic's, with their Canadian TV content ratings. Topic. Animated series Topic. Anime Bleach 14 plus Naruto 14 plus Hack Sign 14 plus Blue Dragon C8 Case Closed PG Death Note 14 plus Eureka 7 14 plus Full Metal Alchemist 14 plus Ghost in the Shell Standalone Complex 14 plus Inuyasha PG Mobile Suit Gundam Seed 14 plus Mobile Suit Gundam Seed Destiny 14 plus Ma C8 Witch Hunter Robin 14 plus Zatch Bell C8 Topic Other Series Avatar The Last Airbender C8 Beasties C8 Beast Machines, Transformers, C8, Futurama, 14 plus, Invader Zim, PG, Justice League Unlimited, C8, Reboot, C8, Samurai Jack, C8, Shadow Raiders, C8, Spider-Man, G, Spider-Man: The New Animated Series, PG, Stormhawks, C8. Topic. Live action series Dark Oracle C8 Monster Warriors C8 Zix Level 3 C8 Topic Specials The Anti Gravity Room C8 aired on August 16, 2008 Dragon Ball Z PG aired on August 16, 2008. Topic Movies 2005 Inuyasha the Movie Affections Touching Across Time PG aired the 25th of March 2005 and the 30th of August 2008 Inuyasha the Movie 2 The Castle Beyond the Looking Glass PG aired the 26th of August 2005 2006 Ultimate Avengers G aired the 1st of September 2006 and the 25th of April 2008 Inuyasha the Movie 3 Swords of an Honorable Ruler 14 plus aired the 29th of December 
December 2006 2007, Fullmetal Alchemist The Movie, Conqueror of Shambhala 14 plus, aired the 22nd of June 2007 and the 19th of October 2007. Inuyasha the movie 4, Fire on the Mystic Island, PG, aired the 22nd of June 2007 and the 17th of August 2007. Princess Mononoke 14 plus, aired the 26th of October 2007. Naruto the movie, Ninja Clash in the Land of Snow, PG, G in the second airing, aired the 16th of November 2007 and the 20th of June 2008. 2008, Superman, Doomsday, PG, aired the 7th of March 2008. Justice League. The New Frontier PG aired the 4th of October 2008 Bleach Memories of Nobody 14 plus aired the 8th of November 2008 He Man and She Ra A Christmas Special C8 aired the 13th of December 2008